Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Live Noding. Um, today I will be revisiting um, an old tutorial using animation nodes, basically to create some kind of um, kind of F curve offset. So you can think of uh, an object and you animate the objects. Let's say you have this uh, this cube, and you add a couple of keyframe. Let me actually do that on the fly. Um, and you just keyframe the position. So one, two, three. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you want to create a bunch of uh, instance objects, and then you want to. You want the, uh, the, the instance objects to follow the animations but uh, with a slight offset. So we should be able to do that um, using animation nodes. So it should be pretty easy. So let's see, <coughs> let's get started. So an animations uh, copies. Gonna build the holding from scratch. Um, so node editor. So I have animation nodes. This is uh, 2.79, Blender 2.79. Uh, and animation nodes is not on the Blender 2.8 yet. So we have these animations. Basically, we want to grab the animation curve. So, so we look, we're going to look at a couple of F-curve nodes. So F-curve from objects. So just grab this, this guy. We know that uh, when we are doing that, if you look at the viewer, we should get a bunch of F curve. And we have three of them because we have position X, Y, and Z. So with transform, it should be pretty straightforward. We just need to get the element, get the list element because we have an array of F curves, so we are separating them. So this one index one, this one index two. And we can now use the evaluate F curve. So by doing that we can we can kind of quickly see what's going on it's kind of okay we can get the value of this object's position at any time in animations okay so yeah now uh, let's turn off this always and just this so it doesn't always evaluate okay now we basically need to create a bunch of instance and then add some offset here Kind of wondering if the offset actually have ability to take multiple value. Yeah, apparently uh, it sort of does. No, it doesn't. See, it doesn't take it. Uh, so we need to use a loop. So okay, let's do it like this. Objects in. Get our object. And we're gonna create a bunch of instance objects. So object plug plug it there, and then instance create object instancer. Maybe create five as a start. And for these objects, we want to move it based on. We kind of want to copy the animations into this guy uh, into the rest of the into the instance objects. So we need to use object transform output. And this location needs to come from this guy. Okay, uh, what's the best way to do this? Basically create a loop first with object instancer selected. You tap W and then loop through objects. And now we are inside the loop, and inside the loop we can kind of source this and get the get the evaluate curve. 
So let's do that actually. Get the parameter. And this is going to be float. It's going to be y. It's going to be z. So x. Oh, actually, that's not. OK, that's not a float. That's actually. An F curve, so F curve. We could actually kind of put the F curve into the list, uh, so to make this a little bit more efficient. But uh, for now, it should be okay like this. So this is a single value, and then it's gonna loop it many, many times depending on the number of objects. Because inside it, we're gonna uh, resemble the curve. I mean, we're gonna yeah um, evaluate the f curve using a different index. So by doing that, we are creating um, kind of vectorizations, and the output is gonna be uh, the vector. So combine vector. Combine a list of vectors representing the animations for our instance objects. So if we check it out, yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five, and then each one is slightly different because they are being offset. So now we just need a, a parameter and call it float I call it this uh, just a multiplier offset multiplier and we multiply the index with a f with it, with this number so it's slightly slightly tricky and it takes probably it takes a Bit of time to understand this but this is this is still kind of the basic idea okay now it should technically works so the red thing is the loop right gonna do it like this so it's clear and we have our vector now we have our objects that we can need to transform them object transform output so this is the position the position and then the objects coming from the objects like that so that's a that's a delay animations with an offset of time it's a that's pretty much it actually um, we can control the multiplier so it can be minus 5 so it's delayed by minus 5 times the index so the total animation should be increased you can maybe maybe it's possible to also instead of a single value this can be factorized so it's a so the delay can be uh, have slightly more randomness that can be done also somewhere inside here so with the index and then randomize the number uh, yeah but that's basically the idea so that's just the animations of the position so the master actually the master this guy over here we can use anything we can actually use animation nodes and then bake um, animations and then have this happening on the fly. We can also increase the number of instance. So we have that working. And if you really want to bake everything, 
it's uh, pretty easy. Just go under overview and bake to keyframe. So how many frames we have? 180. Just uh, I believe if anything that's under object transform output will be baked. So bake to keyframe should be baking into the instance objects. Yep, it's all baked. Perhaps it's all baked except for the master. But uh, if I save this as bake, we can switch to Blender 2.8. So eventually, all the node stuff, all the good things will transfer into Blender 2.8. For now, this is how this is how I actually work. Switching between the two. Open it. And it should still work. <clears throat> so because the animation is big, you can turn it into anything. And I like to test it using random and matcap. Because it looks really really nice like that. Okay, so that's a quick demo on how you can kind of duplicate an animation or an F curve or in this case it's not yet an actions because an actions could be like the whole full animations with a character and skeleton. This is just a basic positional animations. You can do the same uh, the same thing using commotion add-on, I think. That's what it's called. Uh, but uh, for now, uh, if you want to do it using nose, this is AN and delay animations kind of or F curve offset. Okay, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.